Hi, boys and girls. It's Pastor Elizabeth. It's Sunday morning. Welcome to Children's Message today. I have a question for you. Have any of you done anything you were not supposed to do these past few weeks? Please raise your hand silently if you have. Okay, I hear you. Have any of you disobeyed your parent? Have any of you hit your brother or sister? Have any of you watched your iPad or the computer or YouTube when you weren't supposed to? I know. Boys and girls, it is very difficult to always do what we're supposed to. It is. It's not easy at all. I know that. You know that. And as Christians, Jesus gives us second and third and fourth and fifth chances. Jesus forgives us. That means when we say, Jesus, I am sorry, please forgive me. He says, okay. Now, a question that I got recently from one of you was, so if Jesus will always forgive me, why should I try to do the right thing? That was a fantastic question. Always send your questions. Have your mom or dad email me. I will always answer. Uh, the question is, why should I do the right thing if Jesus will answer me? So I looked up a Bible verse about this, and people have asked this question for literally 2,000 years. And the Apostle Paul answers it. He says, should we continue to sin so that grace will increase, so that Jesus will keep forgiving us? And you know how he answers it? I should say not. The Bible tells us that we shouldn't keep doing the wrong thing simply so that God will forgive us because sometimes we will start to feel guilty or bad and we won't even ask Jesus to forgive us. And when we do the wrong thing, it hurts other people. If you bite or hit or kick or punch your brother or your sister, that's hurting them. And if you disobey your mom or watch YouTube when you're not supposed to be watching YouTube, that hurts your mom's feelings. We don't want to be the kind of people that do that because Jesus says, love your neighbors, love your mom, love your sister, love your brother, love God's people. So I hope that helps answer your question. And we're going to uh, look in the big people sermon about forgiveness. And it's a really good one. And it's about fishing too. So um, boys and girls, I recommend that you stay tuned for the adult sermon too. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for forgiving us. Help us to follow you and love others. Amen. Boys and girls, I love you. I miss you. I hope to see you soon. Bye.